Hello everybody, and today I teach you how to remove these and install these. Stay tuned. So we're gonna go ahead and just give this a light little tap. And then we have two brake pads here. We're just gonna pop that out like that. And these look pretty good. There is some cracking in it, but overall they're, they're not bad. Now we can get access to two other bolts. You know, but there's a bolt here, and then there's a bolt. So there's a bolt right there and a bolt up here. That will disconnect this whole unit right here. And then once that unit's off, we can take this piece off. Whoa, look at all that rust falling off. There you go. Two bolts here and there. And we're gonna need a thread locker, blue thread locker, right here. Oof, duh. that's cruddy. There's like, there's a dead moth in my rotor right there. We're gonna get our that open. We're going to spread around some anti seeds Don't get these on the lock. Take our uh, brake cleaner. Your favorite brake cleaner. You don't want to use a degreaser. I mean, yeah, you do need to use a degreaser because in factory, this has oil on it. There you go. Get a clean paper towel. I'll show you. Just wipe this down. Got some oil on there. This is so that when we drive, these oils don't just lubricate. They don't lubricate our uh, brake pads. You probably don't want to wear gloves doing this, like gloves like these. Just go ahead and wipe that. Kind of try to get in the grooves too. Now what these grooves do is they're cooling fans. So basically because we're increasing our brakes, they're gonna get hotter, and because they're gonna get hotter, we need to cool them. Because the hotter they get, they get hot or they get warm, and 
and increases the grip power. But then it gets hot, and hot it'll start to slip. So I'm gonna grab our anti-seize. Leave that on. guy here. So here is our power stop kit. Please sponsor me. Look at that. We got brand new fittings in here. How sweet. Now this gel is to put on lubricant surfaces. So we are going to take this out. Pull this one out with it this little thingy. We need, we need these. There's our paste. Uh, you gotta push this all the way to the top so that it overlaps on here. Or you know what? I got a better, you know what? I got even a better idea. I'm just gonna put the lube right, right into this little hole. There you go. Just put the lube right in there and just squeeze this guy in here. And there you go. Check that out, that was way better. There we go. It's a blue thread locker. Well, now that's in there, now we can put our carbon fiber ceramic disc brake or di pads in here. That's what it said on there. I'm, I'm just saying what it said on the cover. All right, here we go. So the concept of this is this spins and it clamps on here and it, it's actually like really hard for me to move. It goes like that. That's what that does. So, with that done, we can now put on our top. However, if this side was the same as the other, this should not fit on. Look at that, it doesn't. This won't go on. And that's because the piston up here needs to be compressed. So what we have to do is we have to take a piece of wood Put it on top of there. Take this. Put it on top. I gotta screw this out a little bit so I can. So normally you should use metal or something in a straight line. And there are kit or stuff you can rent at your auto parts store to make this work. But this actually will work. So we're just gonna screw this in. The wood, the wood might crack eventually, but it doesn't actually take a whole lot to get it in here. It's just. You don't want to hammer it or anything. So now this piston up here is completely squished in, which means we could just place this right on top. I'm going to put one screw on the top, and the bottom one. And then we'll take out the top and just add a little bit of blue thread locker. That is that, ladies and gentlemen. 
Now we put the tire on and put the wheel on and we're good to go. All right, so that's it for the front brakes. I gotta do the same thing on the back side. What's funny is that the other side of the car, if you'll see a montage of that on Patreon or however I'm gonna do that, um, that took me 40 minutes to do that other side. This side took me like four hours. So because of that bolt in the back down here, so that kind of goes to show that's how cars are. I mean, it might be quick might be a whole day. So I mean, if I did that, it would have, I would have been done with this like three hours ago or so. Like it was four hours just like trying to get this to work and then like working over at the shop over there. So thanks again to uh, the auto body place here. Um, no location yet, sorry. <laughs> but, um, so yeah onto the rear and then we got to do a special prep for these uh, discs because you can't just drive it on the road right away there's a break-in process like where you got to heat them and uh, break them in basically would be considered make sure everything's staying together no floppiness so let's get the rear done Oh yeah, baby, that's... Mm. That's sexy. 